This is going to be a video tutorial on how to create a responsive two-column layout using HTML5 and CSS3. When we talk about responsive, that means that when the screen size is downsized, such as when using a mobile device, a tablet, or a cell phone, the uh, columns will stack on top of each other for a better viewing experience. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. Okay, I'm in Google Chrome now, and I have this uh, little website that I've built opened up here. This is what we'll, what we'll be building. As you can see, there's two columns here, left column and right column. I have a little header up here. Each column takes up 50% of your uh, viewport here. I've colored the backgrounds just so you can easily see what's going on. When I downsize this screen and it gets to a certain point, the columns will flip and they'll be on on top of each other like that that's about a tablet size right there and then you go down to cell phone size makes for a better viewing experience but let's get set up and create this here okay I'm on my desktop now and I'm going to create a folder to store my files in I'm gonna right click I'm gonna go down to new and up to folder and I'm just going to name this folder Two Column Layout. I'm going to hit Enter. And now I'm going to double click on my folder to open it. And inside of this folder, I'm going to create a folder for my CSS file. I'm going to right click, go down to New, up to Folder. And just in lowercase, I'm just going to type CSS and hit Enter. Okay, so we've named the folder Two Column Layout. I'm going to close this folder. I'm going to open VS Code. I'll be using VS Code. And now I'm going to find that folder. I'm going to go up to File, down to Open Folder. Then I'm going to find the folder we just created right there. It is Two Column Layout. I'm going to click on it. And then I'm going to click Select Folder. Okay, I'm inside of that folder now. Now I want to create my HTML file. I'm going to go up to File, down to New File. Then I'm going to save this file as an HTML file. I'm going to go back up to File, down to Save As, and I'm just going to call it index.html. And I'm going to click on Save. And now to build my boilerplate here, I'm going to make an exclamation point. And then you can either click on this top wrench or you can hit the Tab key. And there's a basic HTML boilerplate here. Now we need to create our CSS file. Let me go up to File, down to New File. And now I'm going to save this as a CSS file. I'm going to go back to File, down to Save As. What we want to do is put it inside of this CSS folder. So we want to click on the CSS folder first. We want to double click on it to get inside of that folder. And then we'll name it style.css. All lowercase. Then we'll click on Save. So now we got if I jump back over to that folder, I'll reopen that folder here. We have our index file, and then in our CSS folder, I'm going to open my CSS folder. There's the style.css. Now we need to link. I'm going to go over to my index.html, and we need to link that CSS to our HTML. I'm going to put my cursor I'm going to put it right above the uh, title tags. I'm going to put my cursor down here. I'm going to hit enter. Then I'm going to type link. And then I'm going to click on this link colon CSS. And now one thing, we have our CSS file basically set up other than we need to tell the browser that it's inside of a folder. 
So I'm going to put my cursor right in front of this S here. And the name of the folder is CSS, then a forward slash. And then the name of the file is style.css. Now if we put our mouse cursor over this text here and click on this follow link, it takes us to our CSS file, so it's set up correctly. I'm going to jump back over to the index file. And I'm going to go up to File, and I'm going to Save All. So everything is saved. Okay, this uh, first step here is not necessary for you to do. I'm just going to do it so it's e easier for you to see. I'm going to close my little sidebar over here. I'm going to click on the Explorer just to get that out of the way. Then I'm going to put my cursor at the end of the opening body tag, and I'm going to hit Enter. Then I'm going to create an H1, and inside of uh, between the opening and closing H1 tags here, I'm going to type "building a two-column layout." And in, inside of my opening H1 tag, I'm going to put my cursor right after the one. I'm going to do a space, and then I'm going to create a class. Class equals double quotations, and I'm just going to call it heading. I created a heading class here. Now I'm going to put my cursor at the end of my H1 closing tag, and I'm going to hit enter twice. And I'm going to create a div. Then I'm going to separate my divs. I'm going to hit enter to separate them. And inside of that opening div tag, I'm going to put my cursor right after the V. I'm going to hit a space. And I'm going to create another class. Class equals double quotations. And inside of those double quotations, I'm going to call this class rows. Then I'm going to put my cursor at the end of the opening div tag, tag here. And I'm going to hit enter. And I'm going to create another div. I'm going to hit enter to separate them. And inside of that opening div tag, I'm going to put my cursor right after the V. I'm going to hit a space. And then I'm going to give this a class. And I'm going to call this class Columns. Then I'm going to put my cursor after the second double quotations in the Columns div. I'm going to hit a space. And I'm going to type Style equals double quotations and between those double quotations I'm going to do a background color then a colon and then the pound sign and I'm just going to go with C E E 5 F 7 C E E 5 F 7 And I'm going to put my cursor at the end of this opening div tag. I'm going to hit enter. And I'm going to create an H2. And in between this opening and closing H2 tag, I'm going to type left column. And I'm going to place my cursor after the two. Now I'm going to make a space and I'm going to give this a class. Class equals double quotations and I'm going to also call this uh, class heading. Give it the same class as the uh, upper H1 class. Then I'm going to place my cursor at the end of this closing H2 tag. I'm going to hit enter to bring me down to the next line and I'm going to create a paragraph. In between that opening and closing paragraph tag here, I'm going to type lorem 100. 
and then you could either hit tab or you could click on this wrench here either way and as you can see it uh, gives you 100 words of lorem ipsum text and then to make it easy I'm going to copy this div class column. I'm going to start right here. I'm going to go down and I'm going to stop not the last div but the uh, second to last div. I'm going to right click, copy. I'm going to place my cursor at the end of that div. I'm going to hit enter twice and I'm going to paste it. Then I'm going to change from left column to right column and I'm going to change my color here to B zero D one F seven then I'm going to go up to file and down to save and I'll see what, what I have so far I don't have my CSS yet so I'm going to open that folder that I created, the two column layout. I'm going to double click on my index.html. And as you can see here, I have my left column, my right column. I have no CSS, so it's not side by side right now. That's what we're going to do next. Let me jump over to VS Code again. And we will begin making our CSS. I'm going to hit the style.css tab up here and I'm going to start off by selecting all of the elements, a star, then I'll do a space and then my brackets, then I'll hit enter and in here I'm going to do the box sizing, box sizing and I'll create a border box, box sizing border box put my cursor at the end of the closing bracket here and I'll hit enter I'll hit enter twice now I'm going to take care of my heading class dot heading space my brackets I'll hit enter and this is just the uh, the heading text I just want to text align that center text align colon and I'm going to go with center then I'm going to put my cursor at the end of that closing bracket I'm going to hit enter twice now we're going to work on our columns here I'm going to call the column class we name the column class columns I'm going to hit space and then my brackets I'm going to hit enter and we, I'm going to make this float. I want it to float left. Float co colon left semicolon. I'm going to hit enter. We want the width to be 50% of the viewing screen. Width colon 50% semicolon. Make sure you close everything with the semicolon. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to give this uh, maybe 12 pixels padding. So padding colon 12 pixels semicolon. I'm going to hit enter to go down to the next line. And I'm going to give this a minimum height of 300 pixels. I, I like to go with minimum height because that way your text or whatever you have in your div does not overflow your div minimum height I'm gonna give it 300 pixels then I'm gonna go down to that uh, end of that closing bracket I'm gonna hit enter twice and now I'm gonna work on the rows I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna enter the row class rows colon after then I'm going to do my brackets here. I'm going to hit enter. 
content colon and then a pair of uh, double quotations. I'm going to close that off with a semicolon. I'm going to hit enter and we want this display to be table. Display colon table semicolon. Then I'm going to hit enter and we want it to clear both semicolon. Now I'm going to go up to file and down to save and I'll see what we have so far. I'm going to open my browser here. I'm going to hit refresh and as you can see we have our columns now. We have a left column and a right column and when I downsize the screen here you'll see that nothing's going to happen because we have not put in our media query yet to where these boxes, these columns go on top of each other. And to fix that, I'm going to go back over to VS Code. I'm going to put my cursor at the end of this last bracket. I'm going to hit Enter twice. I'm going to scroll up a little so you can see. And I'm going to do my media query. max width colon space I'm going to make this 768 pixels and then at the end of this uh, last uh, parenthesis I'm going to do a space and then I'm going to hit some brackets I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to call the column class here dot dot columns space then some more brackets. I'm going to hit enter to separate the brackets. And I'm going to put the width at 100%. Width colon 100%. Semicolon. And what this does is media query. That means that any screen that's under 768 pixels, the columns will go to 100% size of the uh, screen. And that should be a tablet on down, tablet or cell phone. I'm going to go up to File, down to Save. Then I'm going to jump back over to my web page. I'm going to refresh. And then I'm going to downsize. And as you can see, now the columns are stacking on top of each other. And our column height will change How we need it to change. Instead of the text and stuff, I can show you what I mean here. I'm going to go over to VS Code and instead of using this within the columns class here, instead of using this minimum height, if I just went with height, I'm going to go up to Save, File and Save. I'm going to go back over to the web page and refresh. Now I'm going to downsize. And as you can see right here, the text or whatever you have in this column is spilling over. But if you go with minimum height, your, your div here will expand as it needs to expand. I'm going to change this back to minimum height. I'm going to go up to File and down to Save. I'm going to go back over to the web page. I'm going to refresh. Now I'll downsize. And as you can see, our text is not spilling over. Our div will actually expand if you use that minimum height. Makes it a little more responsive. But that's how you create a two col a responsive two-column layout. Thanks for watching.